Hi, and thank you so much for joining. So as you can see over here, I'm already getting ready for the holidays. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be taking you to one of my favorite stores, Ikea. I actually worked in Ikea for three years and I love the holiday things, holiday kind of like ornaments and the new things that they always come out with. And I want to take you shopping with me. And then afterwards, I have purchased uh, three items and I'm going to be doing a DIY with them. So I hope you enjoyed this. Let's go shopping. So here I am at the front doors of the IKEA, very excited to see what they have for us for the holidays. They do have a large line of items for the winter, it's called Winter 2020. Let's start with the first one, this one is very cute, 24 bags of different, I guess to put gifts into it, and uh, you can just hang it anywhere really, and it's only $9.99, and uh, it's, very, it's very cute, and all of the images are different. For the lanterns, they usually come out with a new lantern, I, I feel like almost every year. So this is only $3.99, and it's a new look, looks very adorable, uh, very holiday-esque. All throughout the store, uh, they have a lot of gnomes, and they're different sizes. I like this one because it almost has like a, uh, like a weight to it, so it can stand up and it's $19.99. There are also gnomes on the napkins and by the way you can do really cool decoupage with them. I really like these uh, kind of bottles with the stoppers. They uh, have the holiday elements and they're very cute. I've seen these cool wicker kind of baskets. It's a set of two for $9.99 and they're perfect for putting your uh, Christmas tree in or really any kind of holiday decorations. I really like that they're black and I like this kind of over here wider uh, basket with uh, the wick handle. I think it's very stylish. And please subscribe, like and share if you like my videos. Over here I really enjoyed this because it's almost like very simple, very Scandinavian-esque uh, wrapping way so there are three bags three um, burlap kind of bags and one, one larger sheet that basically for present wrapping and uh, I, I thought it was really cute uh, this is very easy gift wrapping way it's uh, two boxes 249 over here they are flat I really like this Christmas tree so it's expandable it's made out of, I guess, kind of like a wickery material. It's a bit on the expensive side, but you can dress it up and make it almost like an actual Christmas tree. So it's a really cool idea. There are a bunch of different wreaths. This one is new, I haven't seen it before. And I actually purchased that and I'm gonna do a DIY, so stay tuned for that. Uh, the other wreath is more of a kind of like eucalyptus looking thing. Uh, which is great on its own or you can for sure add to it i would definitely would love to add to it but i didn't purchase this one and the last one that i've seen is this cool kind of greenery and it doesn't have any kind of elements on it any color elements but i thought it can also be styled really nicely uh, of course the store has lots of different christmas trees uh, different thickness different kind of fluffiness and uh, different sizes I really enjoyed this uh, kind of terrarium for $6.99. I was trying to open it. I'm sure you can, I couldn't do it in the store. I feel like if you open it and add a little bit of holiday elements to it, it would look so adorable. These heart-shaped uh, ornaments for $3.49 for eight of them, I actually got them and I'm gonna do the DIY with them. I really like the idea that they have the matte and the shiny finish and there's also silver of the same kind of hearts. Christmas trees for $3.99. And I really like this idea of putting, taking the jar and putting the ornaments in it. I thought it was really cool. These blue, kind of blue-white themes, gorgeous, for $12.99 for so many of them. I thought it was a great deal. This over here is a very kind of simple, again, heart thematic. <laughs> uh, very Scandinavian because it's very simple, but still really pretty. $5.99. Love these cute little houses. They're only $9.99 and I thought they would add to the decor of the room really nicely. These gorgeous little kind of circles with golden elements on them, four of them for $5.99, and these kind of clip-ons for $8.99 also are very pretty. These guys are all different type of red 
for $4.99 for 25 pack. I thought it was a great deal. Now let's do some DIY. So I'm gonna do three different ones. The first one is this kind of star. So I really love this. I thought it was very nice and simple, but I wanted to add a little bit extra to it, make it a little more festi festive. So over here I have the pine cones and at first I just kind of placed them to see what kind of spacing I want. And then I glue gunned all of them in place. Then I had lots of beads. Uh, the red looked great because it kind of represented holly. And over here I have these Michaels uh, kind of bigger, larger beads and the wire is to kind of attach everything because I felt wiring was a little easier versus glue gunning, but you can for sure glue gun. It will probably save time because this took, this took about an hour. So over here I'm attaching with the wires, different larger beads and over here for the hollies so i would actually group them into threes so that we have a bit of a grouping happening i like when there is a bit of a chunks of areas of interest and of course i would also attach it with the wire to the wreath so over here the design is pretty much done i just wanted to add some kind of element to the top of it And using the white paint, white acrylic paint, I added a little bit of white onto the pine cones. This is just to show a bit of almost like snow. Again, extra detailing so that it's very fun to kind of look at it and see the details. So here's the final piece. Very cute. I love how it turned out uh, from something fairly simple. Now it looks very festive and uh, great to be in your house. So here are all of the elements that I needed for my second DIY. I wanted to decorate the candle. So taking the thread and wrapping a chunk of the candle for visual interest so that we have a bit of a texture happening here. So a good inch and a half. I thought that was pretty nice for the visual texture. And now taking one of the hearts, I like the matte looking heart. Placing at first uh, the compositionally how the berries would look like together with the pine greenery and the heart. And then taking the thread and just kind of tying the thread around, of course, the candle and then tying the heart together and having a little bit of a bow at the top. And then just glue gunning the uh, berries, I think they're little baby apples, and the greenery of a pine tree. And here's the final look. I think it's so simple, very easy to do, and it looks so adorable and very festive. For the next DIY, I picked up the ice cube tray that is heart shaped. I don't know something about hearts this holiday season. It's just really for me. And over here I'm using the plaster of Paris and the way I mix it is just by the eye. <laughs> it's probably not the best way, but uh, the way I do it is the consistency needs to be almost like yogurt so that it's not too runny, but at the same time you don't have the clumps. And of course mix it really well so that you get the air bubbles out. It takes about a day to dry, it could be shorter, but I like to have it for a day, leave it for a day taking it all out and now glue gunning it together so that we have the two halves of the hearts coming together with the thread in between them. Here are all three of them. And the only thing I wanted to do is take uh, sandpaper and just because some of the sides were kind of sticking out and I wanted to make it a little smoother, so I sanded it down. Now for the first heart, all of the hearts are going to be the same color. They're all going to be rose gold. And uh, the first thing, the first texture that I want to do is glitter. So I'm just taking the Mod Podge 
and I'm covering everything in glitter and just kind of reapplying if there are any empty areas and then again dumping more glitter on top and then all of that excess glitter I just kind of put it back into the jar so that nothing is wasted but look how pretty this looks cleaning the table and onto our second DIY of the hearts so I had this gold leaf this uh, rose gold leaf uh, that I wanted to see if I could apply and again applying the Mod Podge first and now I wanted to wrap the gold leaf around it was me experimenting because I've actually never done such a thing and to be honest it wasn't a good experiment because it all kind of clumped together and <laughs> at the top it looked it was pretty bad so I had to pull the away from the top so that it's not caking on top and that revealed some of the uh, plaster of Paris, which ironically looked pretty well, so I just kept it as is. And the last of the hearts is going to get some metallic acrylic paint. So I have again rose gold and gold. So one of the sides is rose gold and the other side is going to be gold. So here are all three of them, all the same almost the same color just different textures and I love how all of them turn out so I hope you enjoy my shopping trip at IKEA and I hope you enjoy my DIYs and I hope it inspires you to start creating something for the holidays to decorate your space. Let me know what you thought about this video and about the IKEA's holiday collection. And of course, subscribe, like, and share to my channel if you enjoy my content. Thank you. Bye.